First of all, good afternoon. My name is Sandy Lewis, and I'm the Director of Community Affairs with the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. I'd like to welcome you to our third grand opening of our Community Justice Center West, which is located right here in Oak Park. I want to thank you all very much for being here today uh, on this uh, warm uh, uh, and wonderful occasion with the opening of the Community Justice Center here in Oak Park. Uh, we are incredibly fortunate to be able to work in such a coordinated way across jurisdictions to be able to help promote uh, public safety and to encourage uh, the, the uh, uh, emphasis on preserving uh, Oak Park and the entire surrounding areas as a uh, safe community. Um, I was at a meeting this morning along with uh, uh, Representative Lilly and with Alderman Graham. Uh, it was a, uh, a, a community meeting uh, focused on by the Global Network and TLC Ministries uh, for Safe Haven. And it was focused on kids. And the kids were asking questions of elected officials in the region. I just want to read you five of the questions that they were, that they were asking. Um, one, can you stop people from smoking? <laughs> that one, I wasn't quite sure how to answer that one. Um, two, uh, why do you think people do drugs? Three, uh, why are teens using guns and not their words? Four, what can you do to help stop the gun violence in my community? And five, will there be activities to promote peace in our communities. Um, I was very pleased to be able to talk with these children who were from age seven up to age 18 about some of the things that are going on to try to help promote peace in our communities. And one of the things that I specifically referenced as a key initiative moving in that, in that uh, direction was the leadership of the state's attorney's office uh, and Anita Alvarez specifically in reopening this center to help us commit to coordination and support, mutual support, toward the public safety uh, that is so important for all of our communities. The uh, communities of Austin and Oak Park are indeed fortunate that State Attorney Anita Alvarez has selected this location as the site for the Community Justice Center, which in my opinion will play a pivotal role in each of our communities, community policing strategy. For the state's attorney to make this investment in our joint communities at a time when all of our resources are stretched is much appreciated and is an example of her commitment to improving the quality of life at the neighborhood level for the west side of Chicago and Oak Park. On behalf of Superintendent Weiss, myself, and the entire Chicago Police Department, we're honored to be here to show our support with an endeavor to mobilize our community and focus on one thing, to empower them to take our community back. With the assistance of everybody involved, especially our community, and under the directions of our Cook County State's Attorney, we can make an impact and a big difference for all the communities. Today's opening would not be possible without the support of the Village of Oak Park and its police department. And as you have already heard, they are committed partners and want to thank uh, President Pope and Chief Rick Tanksley for their leadership and their support and for waiting for us to get this uh, underway. We've been working really hard and working with them on a daily basis to make sure that this became a reality. It's a great honor to welcome everyone to the opening of our Cook County State's Attorney's Community Justice Center here in Oak Park. It's the third installment of our efforts to restore a community-based prosecution approach here in Cook County. It's a very exciting day for our office and for me personally. So we are committed uh, ourselves to restoring this program and working within our existing budget uh, and uh, cooperating with all of our partners to bring back the concept of community-based prosecution in the forms of our newly renamed Community Justice Centers. Our staff here in the Community Justice Center will work closely on the prosecution and prevention of local crime, along with the police districts, community groups, schools, businesses, and area residents. Victims of crime will be able to utilize the resources of this office to check court information and to tap into the services of our office. We will also organize informational seminars and host community crime prevention meetings in coordination with police on a wide variety of sub, uh, subjects, including topics like identity theft. We will place a special community-based emphasis on the prosecution or of mortgage fraud. In fact, we have received a federal grant that will enable us to place a dedicated prosecutors in our community justice centers to help zero in on the problem of, of mortgage fraud 
and to proactively prosecute these cases that have destroyed the quality of life in so many of our communities.